Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in this video we are featuring the match highlights of the women's ODI match played between India and New Zealand and the update about the toss is that India have won the toss and have elected to bat first. India were without their regular captain Harmanpreet Kaur and Smorty Mandhana, leading in an ODI for the first time, fell cheaply after opting to bat. Shafali Varma looked to bring a gear that we hardly saw at the T20 World Cup particularly targeting Jess Kerr. She used the pull shot to good effect and then dispatched a length ball over the sight screen. But she pulled Carson's first ball straight to square leg to fall cheaply. The pair looked particularly at ease against spin, maneuvering the ball in the outfield to keep the scorecard ticking. Husbunis showed her prowess against spin specifically when she went deep in the crease against Amelia's leg spin to slice it past backward point. The pair increased the pace as they went along in their 61-run partnership of just 70 balls. But Rodriguez missed a clip off Bates and was adjudged LBW, the review returning an umpire's call on impact. Then on 42, Husbanis could not resist charging at a tossed-up delivery from Amelia and was stumped. Deepti Sharma and Arundhati Reddy kept things afloat with their 37 off 47. New Zealand spinners combined to pick up seven of the ten wickets to bowl India out for 227 in the first women's ODI in Ahmedabad. Feathered behind and here comes the first wicket for the Indian women's teams in the first ODI another wicket for India superb catch from Deepti and India got second wicket and here comes another one for Team India absolutely phenomenal performance by the team and what a game of cricket this has been for Team India. Run out. Total confusion and Eden Carson is well short. A high full toss hit towards cover point the batters were late to get across. The throw comes to Radha Yadav who fumbles but the ball bounces off her hands on the stumps. The stumps light up and Carson is nowhere near. The end comes quickly as India win by 59 runs. Replays show that Kerr called Carson who was late to get off the blocks. Dayalun doing good work in from the sweeper fence as she fired a flat and hard throw right next to the stumps on the bounce. It looked like 227 would not be enough for India at the halfway mark, but a brilliant bowling performance has seen them win by 59 runs. Saima started it off with Bates' wicket, and the injury to Amelia Kerr pushed New Zealand further back. Down came at three as a result and took her time to get in. India took regular wickets with Devine's a gift. So careless and casual from the New Zealand skipper, and that probably was the turning point. Still New Zealand fought back with Green and Halliday's stand but both went in the same over and the game tilted towards India's way. Amelia Kerr eventually came in at 9 and her partnership with Gaze gave India a few jitters but the latter was dismissed trying a big hit and the end came pretty soon as a run out ended things. New Zealand would be disappointed at not chasing down this score on a pretty good batting wicket. India go 1-0 to zero up.